Mindful Life Practice Community. All right, let's wrap this up. You guys are the winners. You've stayed the whole time. <laughs> so you're going to come forward from that child's pose and we're going to take a Sphinx pose. We're going to take three yin poses and then we're going to wind down in Shavasana. So come on to your uh, hair in my mouth. Ha, come on to your elbows <laughs> and then press through your elbows and lift your heart. Close the eyes and as you have this expansion through your stomach and this expansion through your upper chest, can you breathe in a bit more air through your lungs and through your heart? And then exhale to release. So I said at the start of our practice today, I was doing a bit of reading and research into the meaning of Halloween. And I was surprised to find out that it actually has a spiritual purpose. So long, long time ago, it marked the season change from fall to winter. And in winter, the winter was so cold that all the crops would die. And so that's why Halloween has this kind of spooky significance around death. Can you take your palms, either keep them as they are if this is enough for your spine or take your palms out a little bit wider and then press through your palms and lift up into your seal and open through your heart. So winter and anyone that's lived in, you know, one of the colder parts of the world, like where I grew up, knows that winter is really like bare and cold and, um, and it's like kind of a season of almost endings and then spring is a season of beginnings. So with that intention in mind and that thought in mind as the transition from fall to winter and this whole intention of letting go, what are some things that you could let go of right now? What are you holding on to that is not serving you? Keep one more breath, lift it up. And then can you lower down and then from your elbows, take your right knee and start to inch it along the mat. And then you're gonna lift your right elbow up and thread your left arm under towards your right knee. And then maybe you spiral your heart open and expand your right arm so that your whole spine is twisting. And the vertebrae are compressing and as they compress, you just kind of squeeze out any tension, any tightness. Let it go. You know, as I was walking down to the mall to get the face paint for tonight. I had this memory and I think I've said it before. When I made the first yoga challenge on Zoom in March of 2020, I remember this fear crossed my mind. It was like, what if coronavirus ends and no one wants to do yoga on Zoom anymore? <laughs> before this 30 day challenge up. That was a legitimate fear that crossed my mind. And um, it's so funny to me now because here we are seven months later, we've literally celebrated so many holidays. International Yoga Day, back to school. We celebrated Halloween. What else did we celebrate? Thanksgiving. And, uh, and here we are and it's almost winter and we're still practicing yoga on Zoom together. I don't think anyone could have predicted what 2020 would have in store for us. Let's slowly unwind out of it and then come back onto the elbows. 
but I am super grateful because so many of you I wouldn't have met or wouldn't have connected with had we not created this community. So that's pretty, pretty cool. All right, let's thread our right arm underneath our left and start to draw our left knee up and then open our heart the other way. So what things can you let go of? What space can you create? So we're going to linger in this twist for just one more minute. And then from here, you're just gonna roll all your way onto your back body. And then let's bring our soles of feet together and let our knees knock wide and lift our elbows up overhead and grip opposite elbows. As there's space in your vertebrae, space in your ribs, breathe into your lungs and feel your whole chest expanding with air. And then as you exhale, just get really heavy and feel the earth supporting you and holding you here. Keep taking these deep breaths. And then when you're ready, either stay here if you're comfortable or stretch your legs all the way out. Kind of 
Coming into a full Shavasana. And then once you're in this shape, just turn your awareness towards your breath. And can you watch it become more steady and peaceful with each passing moment? Let your breath become silent. Smooth. and slow. Without pauses or interruptions. Let awareness move to your head. Move to the face. Move to the mouth, the tongue, the jaw, and the chin. Feel the neck and the throat. Go to the shoulders, the upper arms, the elbows, the forearms. Feel the wrists, the hands, the fingers. and move your attention back through the arms all the way back to the chest. And can you be aware of the breath in the chest? Feeling the inhale and the exhale. with concentration. Move your awareness to your navel. Can you experience the inhale and the exhale with concentration at the navel? Moving awareness back up to the chest. Feeling the breath of the chest. Noticing the repetition of the breath now up towards the nostrils and the nose. Now just become aware of the whole body. Experiencing the whole body inhaling and exhaling. The whole body expanding and contracting with the breath. Just 
feel the whole body breathing. blowing through the breeze like a bird in a tree like a dolphin in the sea i want to fly high so high like an eagle in the sky and when my time has come i will let it all go inside patch a mama i'm coming home to the place where I belong. Patch a mama coming home to the place where I belong. Patch a mama coming Oh, to the place where I belong. Patch a mama coming home to the place where I belong. Your body a little wake up wiggle. Finding a nice, sweet stretch, fingertips through toes. Nice knees into the chest, give your body a nice little hug. So yoga is an individual practice because we're all on our own mats with our own body and with our own breath, but we're also together sharing this practice, which is really beautiful and cool. Start to slowly make your way up to seated. Most of you have already come and met me there. And place your palms into your heart center. I am so, so, so grateful for this amazing community. It's so beautiful, so wonderful. Thank you all for being here. And our intention is that we stay committed with this practice and that it serves and benefits all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe, be happy, be healthy, be free, and may the thoughts and actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. So we'll finish with an ohm. <laughs> breathing in. Breathing out. <laughs> breathing in. Oh. so so much for being a part of this for sharing this practice stay tuned to find out who won the free membership light in me season honors the light in you namaste Yay. you guys are awesome we did it yoga party three